Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video is a very special piece. I am doing a birthday piece for a friend of mine and she was very specific on uh, the color she wanted as well as kind of the style. So, and she doesn't know this is going to be recorded. I kind of told her I wouldn't do a video, but we are. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. I'm, I'm going to kind of let the paint speak for itself and I'll explain everything as we go along. So let's go get started having some fun with this piece. All right. For this piece, I'm going to go over all the paints, the cell activator, and then the pillow, and we will get started painting. So the first color I have is a this little piggy submarine. That's what it looks like in the container. And what it looks like mixed up. I have this mixed with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia uh, pouring medium. And there's that consistency. And then I have got uh, Golden Fluid Napefell Red Medium. And just got a little bit thick on me. This is my Valspar Varathane pouring medium mix. There's that one. And then I have this little piggy's golden fluid. That's what it looks like in the container. I just got a little bit left of this. But there's kind of what that looks like there. Mixed up. This is also my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium mix. And then I have the Vallejo fluid color uh, fluorescent pink. Got this mixed up with my Valspar Varathane pouring medium. And then finally, the last color I have is this little piggy's mosh. That's what it looks like. This is a neon orange. It's like a creamy orange. And that's what it looks like mixed up. This will glow under a black light. There is no shimmer to it. This is also my uh, Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. Now for the cell activator, I have three, and I'll show you the paint containers for them as well, because I've mixed up an experimental one. Uh, the first two I have, I've used many times on this channel, but when I say Atelier Interactive Titanium White, this is what I use. It comes in, you know, a tube like this. I usually buy the bigger one just to save a few bucks there, but I've just got a little bit left. Of this. This is Australian Floetrol mixed with that uh, titanium white at four to one. Four parts Floetrol, one part paint. And then I've got the Mars Black, the Atelier Interactive brand. And I've got a full. Actually, this is a little bit thick. I might add just a dollop of Floetrol in there. Um, yeah, this is definitely thicker than the white one. Sometimes that happens if I, add, if I add too much paint. If you add too much paint and you want it thinner, just add a little bit more Floetrol. But this was mixed uh, same way, four parts Floetrol, one part paint. And now my experimental <laughs> cell activator. All right, I've got the, it's Amsterdam. This is Rose Reflex and Orange Reflex. These are both neon colors. And I just basically mixed both together um, about a half a part each. So it's four parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part paint, about a half a part of each of those paints I just showed. And it's Amsterdam paint always mixes up a little bit on the thinner side. If you want it thicker, you can try three to one. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's whatever, whatever's working for you and how you see it working on your paints. You can, you can go, you know, three to one, four to one. You can even go two to one if you want. Amsterdam is, you know, pretty, I don't know about uh, this Atelier. This actually is a thicker paint, but, you know, just uh, if you want to experiment and see what works for you, you know, if it feels too thick, add a bit more Floetrol. If it feels too thin, add a little bit more paint. So now I'm going to show you my pillow. All right, today's pillow is the PPG Multi Pro. Got about a half a container here of it, so um, we're gonna use that up today. So now, let's go paint. All right, I have got a 
12 inch gallery react uh, this is one of the level twos from michael's uh, this canvas so my idea what we're going to do for this piece today is i want to do a transfer bloom we'll do the uh the transfer bloom on my board back over on my bench but i want to do a transfer bloom kind of for the background and then come back in with uh, a few smaller palette knife swipes just to kind of make it all chaotic and fun and very uh neon and i've got uh some ideas with the different cell activators too so that is what we're going to do today so let's go back over to the bench and we're going to blow out that transfer bloom all right so i'm going to put some of the pillow down that should be plenty all right i want to put down the submarine first Red down. And the golden peach. Then we're going to do the neon pink. And this is starting to move move you back and then finally the mosh all right i am going to use both the white cell activator and then that concoction i made with the orange and the neon <clears throat> orange and pink cell activator and the reason I'm putting the white down is so that it kind of encircles the cells and kind of gives it space for this other uh, really bright cell activator I've never used this concoction of cell activator before the the orange and the pink I've used pink alone but I've never used both so we're gonna find out I'm excited oops all right, got that down. We'll put that like so. Here we go. Get my straw. that settle in all right here's what that is looking like I'm gonna let this kind of settle in a little bit more and come up I'm gonna go flood the canvas and then we'll do this transfer bloom all right here is what we got I am gonna this this is definitely gonna glow <laughs> under a black light I'm just gonna take some and start laying it down take this right here do just a spin on here just to get some paint off because we are going to do palette knife swipes too and <clears throat> I'm going to want some of that to stick so I'm just going to move this around just a little bit and then we'll 
put a few uh, palette knife swipes in here. And for the palette knife swipes, I'll show you uh, how I'm going to layer it. And I'm going to use a smaller knife, too. I think that's pretty good. Let me just... All right. That's good right now. I'm going to use my smaller palette knife. And I'm going to... I'll layer it and I'll show you uh, before I start swiping. All right, I have got the black cell activator, then I have the mosh, I have the red, I have the uh, uh, golden peach, the pink, and then the submarine. And I wanna go right here. All right, I am happy with that now. I, I wanna spin this out. We may add one more, but I wanna see what is what. So I'm gonna start spinning and guiding and uh, we'll go from there. flames in the center. That is so cool. I'm going to get this down. I want to put one at least one more swipe in over here. I was trying not to cover this up. This, this actually looks like a snail. I'm loving what it's doing, but I may. But right now, I want to put a swipe right here.
That's it. Right there. <laughs> it does look like an absolutely abstract, chaotic mess, but this is exactly what I had in mind. And wipe my finger off. This white in here actually has uh, gold shimmers in it, which is going to be really cool, but I'm loving all of this movement and this is going to be killer under the black light. So this one's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole before I bring you in. I mean, just the layers of it. And that's kind of what I was trying to achieve with the transfer swipe in the background and then just crazy, crazy swipes with the uh, palette knife but there are some really nice shimmers in here as well and I'm super excited to see it under a black light too but just the different patterns I mean in the randomness of it it's so chaotic and epically epically so cool I love this here I was trying to keep kind of that uh, this right here that kind of really cool color and that was kind of what it was doing over here. This kind of looked like the snail. And I'm glad I took that corner off. But I love this too. I mean, just as a whole, it just came together exactly. I mean, I, I couldn't have imagined it. It's just, it just came together. It's just so cool. So now let's go check it out underneath the black light. Oh my gosh. This is epic under the black light. I... I'm speechless. <laughs> this is so stinking awesome. Look at the layers. Ah, uh, yeah. Have I told you how much I love the black light? This is so freaking amazing under the black light. So super cool. All right. I'm so excited to see how this dries. I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. Here is the piece all dry and it's dried like a dream. I mean, it's uh, it's like a fluorescent wonderland in here. There's so many different things I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you in and show you all the details and then I'll bring you over into a different light and kind of show you the shimmers and then we'll check out the orientations. But I, I love the background and then kind of the foreground with the swipes in here and just all the different colors and uh, that, uh, I have no words. I love this right here. It kind of reminds me of a little abstract flamingos flying along there. I mean, it's just, just the movement is so cool. And this, there's so much dimension just right in there. I absolutely love it. And the fact that this glows under a black light, I love how this kind of moves off into the distance as well. All of it, it's just so cool. All right, let's go check this out, all the shimmers. Yeah. Look at all that, all those really nice shimmers with that, uh, the golden peach that was in there, really brought out. And then the submarine, and then see that white area too, has just a little bit of shimmer. I'm absolutely in love with this piece. All right, let's check out the orientations. Here's the next way, this is a really cool orientation as well. Same with this one. I mean, I, I don't think there's a bad one. Let's check the last one. Ooh, I love that one too. I can't decide. I think I like the first orientation or this one the best. I'd love to hear your favorite orientation on this piece. This is such a unique piece. So now let's go check it out under the black light. This thing just sings under the black light. I can't really move it around because my black light is above. So this is probably the best angle. I mean, just the coolest piece I think I, I've ever seen that under a black light. I oh, <laughs> love it. All right, I'm going to flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. This piece was so much fun to do. Thank you, Casey, for uh, pushing me out of my comfort zone because this, <laughs> this, oh my gosh, I want to do more of these now. So, yes, girl, this is your birthday piece right here. <laughs> so I know your birthday's not for a little while, but uh, happy birthday. And I hope you enjoyed this piece. And I hope all of you enjoyed uh, the creation of this piece. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time.